Oil and grease from restaurants and other food service establishments can cause serious problems in the municipal sewer system, affecting many people and businesses. For the next few minutes, we will discuss these potential problems and how you can help avoid them. Improper disposal of grease may impact your business in many ways. If grease builds up in drains and sewer lines, sewage can back up into the floor drains, restrooms, and sinks. It can then expose people inside your establishment, other businesses, and homes to untreated sewage. A significant grease blockage may also interrupt operation of your business and others on your sewer line. If your business is responsible, the cost of having the affected sewer lines cleaned and other property damage may be charged back to you. Your local wastewater treatment plant's industrial pretreatment program is dedicated to preventing grease blockages, other potential sewer line hazards, and treatment plant upsets. We will now show you some simple but effective ways to keep potential damages to a minimum. We call these Best Management Practices, or BMPs. The main principle to remember is, keep as much grease as possible from going down the drain. Here are your oil and grease BMPs. Avoid the use of a garbage disposal. When too many food solids are flushed down your kitchen drain, it reduces the efficiency of your grease interceptor, which results in grease being discharged to the sewer. Instead of using a disposal, first scrape off the plates into a garbage can or composting bin. Then rinse dishes with cold water over a catch basket and put those food scraps into the garbage as well. Keep waste grease buckets handy. These receptacles are used for liquid oil and grease from pots, pans, fryers, and grills. Keep them in convenient locations such as under the sink and near the cooking areas. Make sure to empty these into your grease recycling bin when necessary. Boil out deep fryers only when necessary. Pour the boil out water into a sink that flows into your interceptor or skim the grease layer off the water after it cools and dispose of it properly. Make sure your grease recycler will accept this type of grease before putting it into the recycling bin. Avoid the use of microbial and enzymatic cleaners. Some municipalities have restrictions in their sewer use ordinance against using these. Check with your local industrial pretreatment program or wastewater treatment plant. Dump mop water only through drains connected to your grease interceptor. Much of the grease from a commercial sized kitchen comes from the floors. If your mop sink is not connected to your interceptor, then you should allow the mop water to sit overnight. Skim the grease off the top and dispose of it properly. Do not put this grease into your recycling bin. Clean your grease interceptor or trap frequently. We will now explain the difference between a grease trap and a grease interceptor, since they will require different cleaning frequencies. A grease trap is a small device that is located under the sink. In order for it to work effectively, it should be cleaned very frequently, possibly every day. Many traps are difficult to open and the grease must be removed manually. This trap, however, has a convenient spigot for emptying the grease, which makes it much easier to clean. This grease trap separates oil and grease from the wastewater by heating the water and skimming the floating oil off the top, and then empties the liquid grease into a waste grease container. It requires frequent cleaning and maintenance and may need to be emptied every day. If the waste grease contains contaminants such as detergents or chemicals, it should not be recycled. Some municipalities do not accept grease traps as an effective means of grease control. Check with your local building codes inspector or your local industrial pretreatment program. A grease interceptor is the most efficient device for grease collection. It is a large, two-compartment concrete tank with a baffle between the compartments. 
It is usually located outside with a manhole cover over each side for cleaning and maintenance. It works by slowing down the flow long enough for the wastewater to cool and separate into three layers. The grease rises to the top, the water flows through the middle, and the solids settle out to the bottom. The inlet and outlet pipes are positioned so that, if it is properly maintained, only the water is discharged to the sewer. There are two basic methods for maintaining your grease interceptor. First, minimize surface grease. As the surface layer solidifies, it reduces the volume of the interceptor, which in turn reduces the amount of time allowed for the layers to separate. Then, more grease will pass through to the sewer, or pipes may become restricted and cause backup. You can help avoid backups by following the kitchen BMPs previously mentioned and by having your grease interceptor checked and cleaned on a regular basis. Second, minimize solids. Excess solids on the bottom of the tank will also reduce interceptor volume and retention time. As a result, the grease could be siphoned out with the wastewater, or if the pipes become blocked, sewage could back up into your restaurant. Following BMPs that reduce the amount of food solids going down the drain and routine cleaning will also help keep this under control. The size of your grease interceptor and the volume of customers your restaurant serves will help determine how often the interceptor needs to be cleaned. We recommend that you become familiar with your interceptor and your sanitation pumping contractor. Ask the pumping contractor that you use to recommend the frequency and set up a regular pumping schedule. When you have your interceptor cleaned, both compartments should be pumped and its contents should be removed in the following order. The grease should be removed first, then the solids from the bottom, then the liquid, and finally the sides should be cleaned. Your pumping contractor should always follow this procedure and nothing should ever be pumped back into the tank. To review, excess grease buildup in sewer lines can cause sewage to back up into homes and businesses, creating significant health and financial problems. Prevention is the key. Start in your kitchen by implementing the suggested best management practices. These simple housekeeping practices can save time and money in the end. Avoid the use of a garbage disposal. Keep waste grease buckets handy. Boil out deep fryers only when necessary. Avoid the use of microbial and enzymatic cleaners. Dump mop water only through drains connected to your grease interceptor. Clean your grease interceptor or trap frequently. In addition, get to know the company that cleans your grease interceptor. When you have it cleaned, make sure it is being done properly and thoroughly. Remember, each municipality has different regulations covering grease traps and interceptors, as well as the fines for damages incurred. If you do not know what these are, or if you have any questions about oil and grease, call your local wastewater treatment plant or industrial pretreatment program.